I'm hatching you in this one. Yeah. Later on, I think we'll keep everything in here and only hatch in this one, so we can introduce new things as we find them. Speaking of things we should introduce, we have these seeds that I've been hesitating to use because they are from a very different part or a very different area and I don't want to accidentally introduce an invasive species. Plant things here? Yeah. So we have this really pretty bush and this dock leaf. Dock leaf is supposedly neutralizes poisons and acids which is really useful to have in a hatching pod especially if we end up uh, hatching one of those gasopods yeah I'm pretty sure that egg we found is from a gasopod uh, but we can't it's kind of small though I, w I was expecting it to be bigger Fine for head kids. Need some gold and some silver. And we need some titanium for a coffee machine. Uh, let's see, first, this needs to be made into fiber mesh. And then we need a computer chip for the fabricator. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, we'd also need the titanium, so let's grab another titanium. This is a good spot for a fabricator. It will take it a while to make some kits, but it will make them. Okay. Coffee machine is not here. Like this is an interior module, but whatever. Um, not really enough space there that will get in the way. Uh, I guess this is good enough. It's a little bit right here. Yeah, coming down in the morning. It's a precarious position. Order two cups of coffee to celebrate. Come on, give me coffee. Actually, let's hide the beacon because we don't need it for now. Definitely good to have it. Cameras, let's hide the cameras too. Coffee! Yeah. That. That is less delicious than I hoped for. Maybe I uh, got rid of the addiction by being out away from coffee for so long. Is that how it works? Probably works that way. Okay. Um, what time is it? Oh, we can look up here. It's dark. Let's get some rest and then head over to uh, Life Pod 13. That's good. And I just remembered, let's put on the radiation suit. I don't actually plan to pick up any more of the Uranonite. But better safe than sorry. At least the gloves is a very good idea. Might as well grab everything. Okay, off we go. Systems online. So, we made some interesting discoveries when we were down at uh, abandoned base. For one, it seems like uh, the habitats are 
pretty durable. Not even that huge uh, crab squid could uh, make a dent in it. So that's uh, that's a significant relief. I was worried about that. Also, it seemed like the hunters didn't know what to do about it either. Oh, okay. I think we still have some things to listen to, so let's listen to uh, another log while we go towards 13. Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay and chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation! Well, that seems a bit excessive. Why would you need more than one court? I, I guess I don't really understand legal matters. Still, I... I get why he's angry. It seems like a bad idea to bring something so dangerous to the place you live. I will do my utmost to avoid them as best as I can. Alright, we're almost there. We still have one more log to listen to, but let's check this out first. It's a weird place. Doesn't look like there are any uh, predators around here. Though. What's this? It's a part of the Cyclops. Or rather, a part of a Cyclops. How many of those did we have? I feel like we had at least two on, on board. So maybe one of them uh, crashed crash down here. But split into tiny pieces, apparently. This we're uh, closer to finally having a larger submarine. If it had been a little while ago, I would have been questioning why we wanted to have a larger submarine. But lately, I've been experiencing uh, uh, rather uh, significant feelings of mortality while uh, driving around in uh, Miss McBoatface. She is not safe against those hunters. Maybe something larger would be good. Let's new PDA data. have a listen to this one while we search for more parts of the Cyclops, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, that's not the one. I haven't listened to it. Okay. Uh, I need to remember to listen to that one later. Oh, actually, let, let's listen to that first um, because I will forget that, we li that I marked it red. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops, tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her, I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat, and the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, made her appear out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I... I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. You 
are currently inside a long calcified root system. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms over many centuries to form these natural caves. Yeah, I'm going to get lost if I try to swim around in there, I think. Barely any landmarks, everything looked the same. Got an egg in there, so that's kind of cool. What are these? Oh, just table corals. But blue. Okay, sorry about that. Let's leave those be. Um, we found another part of the Cyclops. And this looks like it might be one as well. Alright! Do we have a full Cyclops now? 